You're listening to Bottles Powerhouse. Bottles Powerhouse. Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. This is Pato. Today I'm chillaxing in the comfort of my home. I decided uh, not to try to do this at the usual place because, well, yesterday while I was doing my thing during my break, obviously I still have to carry my equipment with me and uh, one of the radidios went off and I'm like, I'm sorry, if I didn't invite you on my podcast, I don't want you on it. So I had to for the first time ever, use the edit function available now on this app that I use, um, which is uh, the Spreaker Studio. And so I was able to cut that out, and uh, that's why you have uh, episode 70, which I talked... What did we title that? Oh, gosh. Don't get old. Um, is that really Baby Yoda or something to that effect, right? Anyway... Speaking of Baby Yoda, I like how some people are saying that now that Baby Yoda is in, Baby Groot is like so last year. It's yesterday's news. Aw, oh, come on. Really? <sighs> did, did people really just move on to the next smo that can flow? I guess the beat goes on. Da, 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 da. Anyway, <laughs> okay. I just had to say that. Um, anyway, uh, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I'm always very grateful to have you here because I know that there is so many freaking options. And ever since I uh, joined this podcast mus- podcast movement page on Facebook, I realized that uh, well, that page alone has like twenty seven thousand mother mo- twenty seven thousand members. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say motherfucking members, but I, you know, it might sound offensive. But then again, I am one of your friendly neighborhood foulmouth podcasters, so don't take offense. Consider me your friendly neighborhood foulmouth podcaster. So what I'm saying is, there's 27,000 people that join that are either podcasters or are looking to get into podcasting. So obviously, like I say each and every time, looks like everyone and their motherfucking dogs has a podcast so you have options and i am very grateful that you are here with me right now so thank you like i said i hope you're doing well i uh, hope you're either i i never know exactly when you're gonna be listening so if it's the weekend i hope you have an awesome weekend if it's a weekday i hope you're having a good one i mean you know weekdays work weeks for people like me that are like uh very hard working you know uh it's monday every day so uh So every day is, you know, every day is awesome. Anyway, everything is awesome. Anyway, bottom line, like I said, let's get off this subject. Anyway, uh, the reason why I wanted to put this podcast out today is because I've been contemplating the possibility of bringing the powerhouse or not necessarily the powerhouse, but uh, maybe the Ghost Rider show into the Spanish language. But one of my biggest deterrents has been the fact that even though I think I am very eloquent with uh, Spanish, um, and I think that I know what I'm talking about, I still have the tendency to do what I did when I was a younger youngster and translate directly from English to Spanish. And, uh, well, the outcome isn't always exactly what... um, you know, I expect, I mean, you know, uh, sometimes when we do that, we sound either rude, offensive. I mean, maybe back when I was a younger youngster, it was a bigger deal because the older generations, I mean, they were more uptight about how you address an older person. So, uh, and nowadays it may be a little bit different, but still the fact that sometimes when we translate directly from English to Spanish, we can say what, what we were trying to say gets lost in the translation and it turns into a whole nother motherfucking argument that you didn't want to get into. But it happens because it, you didn't say or you didn't communicate. You didn't say what you were trying to say. And uh, 
it, it, it's, it gets crazy. So that's been one of the biggest deterrents for me to bring the powerhouse or the part of the Ghost Rider show into the Spanish language. Because, you know, I may get in, I may get all excited talking all kinds of smack. And then in the process of doing that, I may just say something that somebody finds completely offensive. Because, you know, us Latinos, we, we, we got to have something to be offended about and be emotional about, right? Because the, the, that's what we do. And Pato, well, you know, Pato, I'm a little bit different sometimes because I'll let a lot of shit slide. In fact, that's the reason why I'm nicknamed Pato. But, I mean, I get to my moment where I just, you know... The Latino comes out, the Mexicano comes out, and I am, you know, I'm, I have a short fuse too. Well, we all do. I mean, come on. It doesn't matter what race you are. You, We all have our buttons that if somebody presses them the right way, ooh, shit happens. So, uh, as I was saying, um, thank you for being here. That's one of the things that I've had on my mind, you know, bringing... Uh, the podcast to the Spanish language, which I don't know, uh, might be interesting or might just get me in all kinds of motherfucking trouble. I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> that's one of the possibilities. You know, I can have K-Dog on the show once in a while so he can say Pinchy Pato because that's about as far as I think uh, his Spanish skills are. Uh, that could be fun. So, yes, uh, that's something that maybe 2020 or or sooner, I don't know, maybe maybe end the year or start the year podcasting in Espanol. And uh, one of the reasons why I say that, you know, let me give you an example here before uh, I get too sidetracked. When I say that uh, when we translate directly from English to Spanish, uh, sometimes it doesn't... the it doesn't translate well. Uh, when I was a younger youngster, this is one experience that I kept in my mind because uh, this older gentleman offered me a soda. And he had two in his hands. It was an RC and some kind of orange soda. I can't remember which one. But uh, he was offering me a soda in Spanish. So uh, he comes up to me. Hey, muchacho, ¿quieres una soda? Which translates to, hey, young man, would you like a soda? Now, me, without even thinking about it, I meant to say, I don't care, I'll, I'll take either one, right? But I just said, eh, no me importa, which means I don't care. And for some reason, that just lit him up. I guess when I said that, he uh, looked at me like, uh, like I had said something totally terrible. And I'm like, what did I say? So he goes off in Spanish, something to the effect of, Cabrón chamaco le ofreció una soda y me dice que no le importa. Mira que grosero este cabrón. Which means something to the effect of, look at this little shit. I offer him a soda and he told me he doesn't care. This little motherfucker has no manners. Kind of like that, you know. I may have embellished it a little bit more. But that was my experience. And I was like, all I was trying to say was that I didn't care which one. I'll take the RC Cola or the orange one. And uh, in the translation, obviously something got lost in the translation. And uh, there you have it. I got myself into a argument in Espanol. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons and uh, kind of not fears because, no, obviously I'm 50% of cursory overload, right? Uh, zero fucks given, right? But no, what I'm saying is, no, we, we, like I said, we want to offend, but we want to offend with class. So uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to bringing. Um, you know what? Uh, the Tales from the Guard Shack page was revamped on Facebook. I don't know how if Facebook is still a thing. Maybe I'm, maybe it's old people like me. But then again, like I said, you know, Facebook. So if you're at Facebook, uh, Facebook slash Guard Shack, which is G U A R S H C A. K C K. Sorry, um, l let me let's try that again. Facebook.com slash G U A R S H A C K. There we go. Garshack, which is the Garshack without the D. Okay, there you go. Anyway, uh, we revamped the page, uh, so now it's called the Podcast Shack. And everything that uh, we do, Cursory Overload, Pato's Powerhouse, Revelion, and eventually Tales from the Guard Shack, again, will be piped through there. And Tales from the Guard Shack, uh, which uh, 
God, I, I can't wait to get back to that, which is uh, we're going to be talking to people that work in the security field because, like I said, that's a show that was created to, you know, give props to the people that keep us safe when we're out there having fun in our events, theme parks, uh, hotels where we stay, um, you know. And I'm talking about the ones that really do their jobs, not the not, not, not the, the ones that make us look bad and Hollywood just runs with that shit and it's always making guards look like idiots you know what i'm saying uh to you motherfuckers that are always fucking up making security guards look bad uh here's one big fuck you to you okay and to the ones that do their job and keep us safe and uh ensure that when we're out there with our families having an awesome time and go the extra mile thank you thank you you know <sighs> anyway uh tales from the guard check plus i'm not just interviews uh, and talking about incidents that happen as you know between security guards, uh, I got a new twist coming to that, and I'm really excited about it. I'm not gonna talk much about it because I gotta get my butt off my procrastinating mode and start writing. And uh, yeah, yeah, it should be fun. Um, anyway, that being said, um, that's what I wanted to get off my mind today. You know, I'm thinking about bringing you. Bringing the podcast the the to the Spanish world, <laughs> so that 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 that's one thing. Um, another thing, uh, what else did I? Well, yeah, the telling you about the Facebook page that's awesome. That, it, that you know something that I'm really excited about the fact that we can just uh, pipe all our podcasts through there, and of course you can listen to Cursory Overload, Pato's Powerhouse, and all our podcasts on different channels like these are like podcast, the uh, Addict, the uh, obviously Spreaker, that's our home, um, Apple iTunes, uh, Google Google Podcast, yeah, we got added to that too. Uh, gosh, we're Type cursory overload in Google and you'll see all kinds of options. Type Pato's Powerhouse and you'll see options there. It's crazy. Pod Chaser. Uh, gosh, I can just go on and on. It's pretty awesome. I mean, and we've only been doing this for about two years. Uh, uh, really don't uh, edit the shows, you know, as we do. We let as we go. We just play it as it goes. I kind of like the the raw feeling, you know. And then when I listen back to what I do once in a while, you know, it's like, oh, geez, I totally f- fucked up there. That's not what I meant to say, or I should have said this. You know, it's it's crazy. I mean, but you get a real feel, you know. And uh, as your friendly neighborhood foul mouth podcaster, you know, Pato the Ghost Rider, aka Morning Star, you know, I want to bring you something that is legit, real. Not, I mean, while don't get me wrong, edited podcasts that, that sound, you know, very professional, kind of like straight out of the radio. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's awesome. It's good. And in fact, some things should be edited. Like, I mean, some podcasts are, uh, they require it. Like, Part of uh, what I have planned for Tales from the Guard Shack. Not the interviews, but the... Oh, I don't want to talk too much about it. Because then I'll give it away. But obviously it's going to require editing. And investing in different equipment that will require different things. And uh, hopefully we'll bring you something that you will like. Something that I think will be pretty, pretty neat. All right. That being said, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, do I? Is this all I got? There was something else I am missing. I mean, I talked to you about bringing the thing to Spanish, uh, the podcast shack on Facebook. Um, see, don't get old. I mean, you know, you start forgetting things. Um, well, okay, fine. We'll call it a night there. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for tuning in, and uh, once again. As always, uh, live each day like it's your last one, because it very well could be. Take the time to be with your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Show them you love them, because that's what's important when it's all said and done. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, see ya. Hey, Pato, escuché tu podcast en inglés. Dijiste, motherfucker. Le voy a decir a tu mamá para que te dé una chinga, cabrón o sicón. <risa>